cue the sniffles and the scratchy throat and headaches. Allergy season is here in Georgia and it's come a little early. Yeah, the pollen count has actually started to climb, but where do those numbers come from? What do they mean? Right now, meteorologist Molly McCollum live in Piedmont Park to explain. Hi, Molly. Hey there, Mike. Yeah, it's actually a scientific and very precise process to produce an accurate pollen count. So we went over to the experts at Atlanta Allergy and Asthma Clinic to see how it's done. It's springtime, which means you'll start seeing the pollen count every day. But how do you count pollen? Well, just ask Marie. She's been counting pollen since 1983. The doctors really just want to know what was in our environment so that they could start testing uh, the patients to the particular Mm -hmm. those particular components. They use a special device that spins high above the ground that collects pollen over a 24 hour period. That pollen collection slide is then examined under a microscope by an expert like Marie. These three are the pine, that's an alder, and that's an oak. Every single spore is counted every single day. Marie tells me pine spores are easy to spot because they look like Mickey Mouse ears under a microscope. To our eyes, it's the nasty yellow stuff. The yellow stuff usually in the springtime is pine pollen, which is pine pollen is so large that it doesn't get into your airways. Mm -hmm. It is the oak and the, the smaller pollens. So today's pollen count is 195. What does that mean for you? Dr. Stanley Feynman explains. That means that the there are 195 grains of pollen per cubic meter of air in the last 24 hours. If patients have an allergy to those pollens, that's significant. For reference, a cubic meter is about the size of a washer dryer set. That's a lot of pollen. This year, pollen season is ramping up at the same time as the coronavirus, which is a problem for those trying to discern symptoms. We see a lot of patients with asthma, and that could potentially put them at a greater risk if they were to get an infection such as a flu virus or a coronavirus. And you might think that all of the rain recently would help lower our pollen counts. And while that is the case temporarily in the short term, Dr. Feynman also told me that when it rains more, that plants tend to pollinate more. In Piedmont Park, Molly McCullum, CBS 46 News.